This Metatainment production is brought to you today by the Samurai Aquatics and Decor MetaVenture. Scan that QR code or click that link in the description and dive yourself headfirst into the Samurai Aquatics Discord server to pleasure your peepers on our current and future range of outdoor decor. Warning, this podcast is produced by Metaverse Ventures Entertainment and contains unsolicited and heavily biased opinions which are solely the views of the individuals involved. It does not include investment advice of any kind and you are responsible for undertaking your own financial, including tax liability research relevant to your own individual circumstances. I'm going to move on to the how to UDU building out nodes segment. Now, just going to touch on some of these points pretty briefly. I mean, for building out nodes, there was the initial just do what you can with the spark balance that you have kind of situation. And then um, cheese, maybe you can speak to the, the initial spark trains, like how all that kicked off. Well, that kicked off by you trying to do something great for the community and it backfired. (laughs) It kicked off and I got kicked in the ass. (laughs) Kicked in the ass. No good deed goes unpunished, but yeah, Ben started the actual, actual first community no train which included everybody um and it just got to the point where it was way too many people everyone complained that it wasn't going fast enough uh not many people really had that much spark to contribute at that point um it it could probably work today but back then like just starting it out in the beginning it's there's always going to be a kerfuffle um when we bought it back just to the UDU it went really good we had uh certain specifications on how much you would have to um give if you are in a spark train you don't have to give anything if you are just in the UDU only if you are in within the spark train and you wanted to get your your stuff done Yes, uh, Joe is just saying he benefited from those trains. Got and if and I made an end. If you were in, thank you, Joe, because I forgot all about that. If you were in the Spark train, you received an NFT that I made specifically for those. Um, you're welcome, Joe. <laughs> and and it was fun. It was fun, and then it started kind of dwindling away where people we're starting to expand themselves into other community projects, which is fine. That's something that we always expressed we were um, good with and we we backed people up on that. And it got to the point where it evolved to everybody, all the node managers, you know, taking care of their own nodes. And I myself, you know, uh, until we had to start doing the factories and, and, and the showrooms, I would put all of my spark to people building in my node and Ben did the same. And yeah, that's where we are now. Where it's just basically node managers are in charge of creating these sort of things in their own nodes. Yeah, we kind of went through a bit of a process there. I, I believe Portage Park still runs Spark Trains, a kind of yeah. similar process where they help each other out. So yeah, it, it started out as a kind of an individual thing, do what you can. We went through several iterations of Spark Trains. Then we kind of went up through a process where we were just doing shout outs, like um, I've got this build here, can you help mm-hmm. out? And then like I kind of mentioned with the Midtown Terrace, now we're kind of just doing kind of spot builds. Like, yeah, if she sees something in her node that she wants to help build out, She'll just bang some spark on, even if it's if you're not a UDU member. And I do the same thing in Mid Ten Terrace. You know, it's just kind of rando blitzing, we call it. And I know um, Uplando said something similar when he was talking about the school node, um, where he said, you know, if, if you want to build, reach out and get in touch, and he'll help out. So yeah, it's definitely we put um, the control of that and all of the management of, of sort of dealing with Spark and building out nodes into the hands of the individual node managers because that's what the UDU is. It's about individual projects working together. So it was a bit of a roller coaster, but yeah, lots of fun, lots of drama. Lots of drama. <laughs> yes. 